Turn on the torch, light up the flame. Time to melt some glass, my friends. There you are. Here I am to explain, to teach, and create again. Kitty, 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 kitty. That's a cat laying on its back, playing with its tail. Kitty, 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 kitty. Here's a cat sitting down like the Sphinx. Okay? Now, we're going to do both. And we're going to do it so that you can see the simple idea of this one first. Um, you make a nice jelly bean shape or a ball, a, a flattened down ball. This is going to be where the head is. And then the, ta the legs are basically a little bit of a curve on the front. And these are what I call the L-bin shaped legs in the back. And then we got a tail going on. And then you could either put a ball there or he's just laying on his back playing with his tail. Um, that's going to be the first one. And the second one, I will do a drawing as we go. Without further ado, let's get into this. Or not. No, we're going to get into this. And don't worry, this isn't a drive-by. Yeah, I know. I need to clean some port on my torch. I'm going to go to a single flame for this uh, and you don't need a lot to do this job so we're going to go from there. First of all we're going to make the ball it's not really a ball it's more of a bean or a jelly bean shape going on for the body and where I'm holding on to it is going to be where the tail is. Okay. You know, I do like how you can see right inside the flame with this. I'm really excited with this. So, that's the next... Uh, I'm going to... That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Now, the uh, neck... Just attach well. Go up about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch and pull it off and round it in. Now, the ears are very, very unique. I just sort of pull to one side, pull to the other and pull it up and point it outward. There we go. One ear. Tuft, pull, second ear, yeah, there you go, you're seeing it roll. Um, the nose is very, very simple in that you touch, pull out, and then pull up. These are just simple, basic images of cats. It's not a perfect cat. And now eyes eyes are the windows to the soul and if you can put eyes on anything that you do I usually don't put them on my horses but everything else the dragons everything I usually try to put eyes on it okay there you go ay 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 next Cat leg number one, it's the right front. I usually go right front, left front, left back, right back. And again, it's basically what I showed you, a straight up and curve over just a little bit. And again, we're going to do the same thing for the other side. Pull it up and curve it over just slightly. And this is what I call the DQ swirl. I do it inside the flame and that way you don't have all those little spur and nasties laying all over your table. Cold seal right here at the top of the head. Oh, I did it again. I keep forgetting to go ahead and do the back legs first. I 
Again, with the back legs, it's a right angle or the L bend shaped leg. I pull it back a little bit, let it cool, heat it up a little bit more and pull it forward. Now the last of the last leg of the journey, ha ha ha. Same idea. Pull it backward. Quarter of an inch. And heat and pull it forward. And you got four legs. And again, you could put these a little bit closer together and put a ball between his legs. So he's a cat laying on his back playing with a ball. Or a cat laying on his back playing with, you know, uh, his tail. Now here is what I do. I heat up the back end and smash. Press it in. That makes a nice little base so that it sets well. Now the cold seal. Top of his head again. Touch. And this long piece that's back here will now become the tail. Now also, what I have in my left hand is what I consider the paper. And what I have in the right hand I consider the pencil and I always add to the paper with the pencil meaning what's in my right hand I add to with glass from my right hand to the one in my left hand 99% of the time and there you have a cat laying on its back Actually, let me make that tail just a little bit longer so it gives it an excuse of actually playing with this tail. Get it up there. Get it over and let it dangle a little bit. There you go. Ta-da! And it gives it something to play with. Cat number one. Cat number two, let's do a quick drawing. Okay, here we go. We're gonna turn that off for a second. Cat number two is basically a laying on the ground, do the peanut shape or jelly bean shape there. That's the basic body to the cat. And then you've got your tail uh, in this direction. For the head, it's going to go up, nice round ball there. You're going to do sort of two straight ones in the front. And for the back haunches, I usually add a little blob and smash it in. That makes the back haunch, and then I sort of stem out a little bit of a leg. And that's going to be your basic cat. So we're going to go from there. Right? Right. So, without further ado, let there be light. Back down to a single flame. <coughs> and here we go. Matter of fact, I've got a... I'm the type of person that takes everything down to the nub and then some, as you can see. I'll add these two together and I'll put this part over here that's on this side into the cat that I'm going to be doing real quick here. Okay, here is the body to the cat. First of all, I'm only going to do the front half of the peanut or jelly bean to begin with. There you go. Looking nice and shiny. Then we're going to, oops, we got a little bit of crud on the end of that. Let's take that off of there. Don't you just love my colored can? You can't see it. It's a little off the picture at the moment. But it's, um, this is what you call recycling. It's 
An alum aluminium can. Um, now, the neck, sort of a basic shark fin, but instead of going forward with the shark fin, I sort of angle it back and add a nice little round ball to the head. Sort of like it's a majestic head, you know, with its head and shoulders, I am in control, I am, you know, the whole deal. Uh, that's the way cats are. And yeah, I could probably make the head just a little bit bigger, and I will. Again, this is what I call the DQ swirl. I do it inside the flame, and that way you don't have all those little spiky spurs, pointy thingies, stabby into your fingers, getting them out with tweezers is no fun stuff. Looking good. Tough for the ears. Another tough for the ears. Of course the nose. Same idea. Point. Feed it up a little bit. Pull it up a little bit. That's it. And I have green for the eyes this time. Again, eyes, windows to the soul. A little bit less of a flame. Here we go. It helps if you make sure that you're really heating those on there well. And also... That they're not really too cross-eyed or anything. That they're side by side from each other. That's the fun part. Front legs is what we're going to work on next. And basically, seal it in real well. And I do the curve, sort of a little bit of a curved leg like this. You can do it straight outward. But again, this is more or less what I call the Sphinx look. Because it's sitting there majestically relaxing. Okay. Two down. And there we go for that. Now we'll do the back half of the peanut. In this case, I'm going to do the tail, of the legs, and then the tail. I know I usually do the legs on the front one, but this one, the way I do this cat, it looks a little bit better the way I'm going to do this. And again, here we got the peanut shapes going on. Yep, yep, yep. Sorry about the misfocus, but at least you're seeing what's going on inside the flame really, really well. Now heat it, touch it too, press, and that makes one back conch. Heat it, so actually it's sealed in really well, and then you heat and press, and that gives you the, so like the back conch look, and then you got the back leg going off, or the paws coming off a little bit from there. Actually, let's do that a little bit longer. And it can go even longer. Now, when you're looking at your stuff, this is what gets me, and it made me excited uh, a long, long time ago. But I don't know if you can see that or not. But the top of that looks like rabbit ears. See that? Long, long time ago, I looked at that and said, Hey, you know, that looks like a rabbit. And from that, I learned how to do rabbits. So it's it's all in, you got to look at what you're doing and also look sideways sometimes. In other words, what do they call that? Paradigm 
thinking or whatever where it's not really there but it's there anyway just like looking at clouds you look at it and you say hey that looks like a elephant or hey that looks like a, a teapot you know you just got to look at it at a different angle sometimes and it becomes a totally different thing and there's the tail to that and if you wanted to you could heat up a little bit right at the base and move the tail in any direction you wanted and it doesn't have to in there if you wanted a really long tail or a really short tail cat that's your preference see there add a little bit of panache and pull that off and we have cat number two cat man two as always carpe vitro thank you for watching if you have any comments questions or future ideas i like this new camera and i also like this lens setup that I have. It's working out really well. You can see what's going inside the flame. That's been my ultimate goal. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your day.